Hello and welcome to the eighth part of this Pygame tutorial. Today we are going to be doing the intro screen and there's a lot to cover here so let's get started. Okay so first thing we want to do is after the game is initialized we want to go ahead and add in our intro screen. So we'll do game dot intro screen and then we are going to have it where we can add in start because we're going to use the same screen for our resume screen when we pause it. So we want it to plug in start. So now we will do define intro screen and we'll do self and start resume. Okay, then we'll do intro equals true. Now we want it to have a font when it pulls up and it don't have to be a specific one. So we will jump over to fonts for you and let's just download this one outline pixel seven solid you can use whichever one works for you but for this tutorial I'm going to download this one and be careful because you might have an ad pop-up that'll try to trick you into following a link just watch the bottom of your screen and make sure it goes to a download and once it's downloaded let's just go ahead and drag it over into our game refactor Let's close that and now we have our font in here so now let's go up to the beginning of our game class and let's go ahead and pull that font in let's do it right here let's do self dot font equals pi game dot font dot font then we will pixel seven solid dot ttf and we'll do it at 32 pixels. So now let's go back down to our intro. Let's do title equals self dot font dot render. So do main menu true black title rect equals title dot get rect and let's just make the starting point x equals 280 y equals 100 now we need to do while intro or event i game dot event dot get if event dot type equals pi game dot quit do intro equals false self dot running equals false now we want to do our background screen I've provided a link below where you can get this of course when you open it up it's gonna look like a black screen but it's actually a black background you should be able to just right click in here save image as And we'll just do background.png. Save it. It appears. Go back up. In our sprite sheets, let's do self.intro background equals pygame.image. And we'll do background.png. Scroll back down. And let's do self dot screen dot lit. And we'll do self dot intro intro background. And we want it to start at zero zero. Okay, then we'll do self dot screen dot lit. Do the title as title regged. Then we want to do self dot clock dot tick. And we'll do FPS for frames per second. We'll do pygame.display.update. Now what we've done here, this should bring up a black screen over the top of our game. So now we won't be able to play it. It'll just bring up a black intro screen. And it's working as planned. Now once this closes out, it'll move on to our game. So let's go ahead and make this functional. 
So in order to do this, we need to go to our sprites.py and we are going to create a button class. So let's do class button and we will initialize it. And we want to plug in some parameters into this. So we'll do x, y, width, height, fg for foreground, bg for background. We'll do content and font size. So then we'll do self.font equals iGame.font dot font and for now we are going to use our same font that we've used for everything else we can change this later so let's do outline pixel 7 solid dot ttf and then we'll plug in font size we're going to do self dot content equals content self dot x self dot y equals x comma y to group the variables we do self dot width self dot height those width height we do self dot foreground self dot background equals foreground and background self.image equals pygame.surface and we'll do self.width self.height self.image.fill as self.background self.rect equals self dot image dot get rect then we'll do self dot rect dot x and then we'll do self dot rect dot y we'll do self dot x and self dot y then we will do self dot text equals self dot font dot render do self dot content true and self dot foreground. We'll do self dot text rect equals self dot text dot get rect. We'll center by using the button size. So we'll do self dot width. Divide it by two to cut it in half. And then self dot height. And we'll cut that in half too. We'll do self dot image dot blip dot self dot text. And we want it to be on the text array. Then we want to define is pressed. We want to bring in self and position and pressed. This will help us to know when the button is pressed. So the if self dot rect dot collide and then we'll plug in the POS. If pressed and we will return true. We'll do return false and return false. Now we've got our button all set up, so let's go back. And we want to just create a play and exit button for now. So let's create some like default dimensions for our button before we go on. So let's go to configure.py let's just do btn w for width and we'll create a btn h for height 
the width we will do 400 and for the height let's do 70. so let's come back over here and let's create these buttons so do lay button equals button i'll do win width divided by two and minus button width divided by two and then we'll do 200 and we'll do button width again button height to black gray then we'll do an f string in here and we will your curly braces and do start resume to plug in whatever we're putting in to this on here add your space and then do game with a comma 32. so i'm going to copy this and paste it over here for a second so that we can walk through each part we'll delete this afterward but for now i just want to walk through this so the self's pretty obvious but then we go in and we punch in the X, which we want the X to be half of the window and half of the button width, because we're basically trying to center this up. And then the Y will be at 200, because we're going to have to manually put this in so that we list it down. So we'll set this at 200 for the Y. And then the width will be button width. The height will be button height. The foreground, which will be the text, will have it black. And then the background will be gray. Then the content which will actually be the text words, will be from start resume, which we're entering in start. So it'll say start game. And then it'll be at 32 pixels. So I'm going to comment this out. That way we can kind of keep track of what we've got to do with these buttons. Okay, so next, let's do our exit button. We'll do button. We'll do the same when width divided by two minus button width divided by two and we'll do 400 which will be 200 below this so it'll set it a little bit further on the y-axis down then we want to do button width button height and we'll do black again and gray And for our text in this one, we'll just do exit game, and we'll do 32. So this all looks good and everything. You can try to keep it uniform. But now we need to actually draw it on. So let's go down here and draw it on top of our background. We'll draw it after the title. So we'll do self.screen.lit, and we'll do play button play button dot rect and then we'll do screen tablet and we'll do our exit button then we'll do exit button dot rect and now this should show our buttons now oh, we got an error so this has got to be dot image this has got to be dot image. And now let's try it. And now we have a start game and an exit game for our intro. But it doesn't do anything when we click it. So we want it to obviously do what we tell it to. And start game and exit game. So now we need to go in here. And let's bring in our mouse position and we'll do pi game dot mouse dot kit position and we'll do mouse pressed equals pi game dot mouse dot get pressed then we will do if play button dot is pressed which is that function that we made earlier inside of our button so then we'll do mouse position 
and mouse pressed. And we'll do intro equals false, because we want the intro screen to disappear when we click this. Okay, so then we want to do elif exit button that is pressed. We want to gather the mouse position and mouse pressed. Then we want to do self.running equals false. So it'll close the game. And we'll do pygame.quit and system.exit. So let's see how this works. Let's try start game. And our game is working. So let's close it out. Try it again. And let's see if our exit button's working. Exit. It closed it out. Looks like it's all working great. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions or about any of the details of this, please leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to reply. But for now, we're going to stop here. On tutorials to come, we're going to make our character selection and we're going to make game over screens we're going to make it where your start and resume is working according to your game also if you have any better ways to do this code make sure to chime in but for now thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next part of the tutorial